Hi everybody, good morning. Um, when I talk to artists about abstracts, a lot of the time I'm saying that abstracts are easy, that abstract art making is easy. And a lot of people uh, beg to differ. And they would say, no, abstracts are not easy. But what's hard? Well, staying stuck, feeling bad, not knowing why you're stuck, not knowing why your art looks the way it does, even though you'd like it to look different. Those are the hard things. The easy thing, the more easy thing, I think, is learning some basic design structures and principles so that you can, your art can go further. So... Next Sunday is the free challenge. It's my free challenge. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that the first Sunday of every month, I put out an email with a free Sunday challenge in it, a little bit of design um, um, information to help you with your abstracts. So, anyway, back to... Is it easy? I think it is easy. So, the, and the reason for that is it was hard for me for a long, long time until I understood some real basic things about design. And so anyway, when I have these um, conversations with artists that say no, abstracts are hard, um, they're not easy. You're not telling the truth about it, you know, whatever. Um, I look, I take a look at their work and I can see right off why they think that. Because I can tell by their work that they don't have a good understanding of values and value placement. And that is exactly what design is all about. Design is about values and value placement. So there's just a few, just a few things that need to be known about this. And when you know that, your work gets better and better. So my Sunday challenges are always on black and white or black, white, and gray. They could be in color, but those values in your color need to be the same values as the black, white, and the gray. So for instance, if, if you have a design and it's in black, white, and gray, and you want to do it in color, what are you going to have to have? You're going to have to have a dark, a medium, and a light color. So this is why I, do, this is why I don't do color in my Sunday challenges. I, do, I talk about color in my course, in my deep dive design course, but that's not the beginning. The beginning is the black, white, and gray. So I have a fun exercise for you guys um, next Sunday the 7th, March 7th, for the free challenge. And I'm excited about something I want to show you so that you can see. Um, it's an exercise that you can do, but you can also play around and see what shapes look like before you lay the color down, okay? So you'll be able to get a lot from that, I think. So don't forget, next Sunday, March 7th, the Sunday Challenge, and I will put it, I will put free Sunday Challenge in the um, subject line, okay? One more thing. I think I just said it, but I'm going to say it again. Start to look at your color. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Um, start to look at your color as a value. So like, for instance, red. It's dark. It's maybe not as dark as black, but it's a dark value. So when you look at, when you, when you are looking at or doing your Sunday challenge, and it's on black and white, black and white and gray, imagine your 
black being a dark color. Imagine your gray being a medium color and your white being a light color. Um, I wanted to say too, when I was earlier on in my art, I never wanted to hear about values. Oh, it was so boring and I just, um, I just, my eyes were glazed over. I didn't want to hear it. I wanted to go straight for the color because I was an artist and I knew what I was doing. And I failed over and over again, you guys. So when, when workshop instructors talk about values, <laughs> there's a reason for it. They mean it. They really, they understand how important it is and that it is way more important than color. So don't miss the Sunday challenge. Don't miss any of the Sunday challenges. They're always really good and helpful. And also, I now have my newsletters archived in my website. So if you go to my website and you look under archived newsletters, you'll see some of my previous Sunday challenges in there. Okay, I've been, people have been asking me for a long time to do that and I never knew how to do it because I'm tech challenged. And so now I got my tech assistant to set that up for me so that my all my newsletters go into my website now, like a blog thing. And the, there are some of, not all, but there are some of the previous Sunday challenges. I think there's about three or four of them in there so far. Okay, I'll see you back in the group.